for people who can't see the oxygen records, it's we're Thank in you. the middle of the oxygen minimum zone, about 1% oxygen saturation or three micromolar. How different is that from when we were closer to the surface? So it's 100 times higher at the surface. It, can, it's almost, it was almost 300 micromolars to avoid predators, save energy. A good core will get you about 25 centimeters if it all stays in. It seems pretty silty though, I don't know. Fluffy? Yeah. Hopefully the lower layers are a little more compacted. Don't, don't count your push cores before they're in the quiver. I think That's we have right. a new one. Exactly. Definitely an idiom. <laughs> yeah, hey Lisa, this is Paul. You want a description of what we want the cores for? Yeah, tell the people watching us what you plan to do with them. Yeah, so we're interested in the bacterial communities that live in these sediments. Do the sediments sometimes fall out once they're in the quiver, or once they're in there, are they... They're corked up, so once I get them in there and then I push down on them, they're, they're plugged up. So those would be a good two a, a pair to shoot for, to try to collect. <laughs> I guess we should run the beans to get rid of the dust here. It looks like we took a sediment core with the... You go 100%. A hundred beans, really? <laughs> 100 beans. All, all the beans. <laughs> there he oh, goes. Okay. All right, we got them. Well, they're not in the jar yet. Yeah, check the oh. jar. <laughs> You're on. Oh, there he is. Sorry. <laughs> 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 so what was that sound? Yeah, there. Okay. Kill the beans. Sorry, no. <laughs> what jar did those go into? Sorry. Those are number four. This was a nice spot. Worked well for the, the coring, for sure. Yeah. Good fish. More rock, rocky Definitely bits. Definitely getting more rocks. Yeah, maybe rocky bits. Yeah. Definitely looks like pretty black. Probably ferromanganese coatings on these, if not nice thick crusts. Especially on these larger cobbles here don't really have that shiny texture that we're expecting from phosphorite deposits. But not quite as bumpy and botryoidal as crusts can be. They were very smooth, though. Mm -hmm. Sponge on the left. We were calling this sponge... Uh, Dirty barrel sponge for a while. <laughs> Bridge nav, another step, same bearing. The glass sponge. I mean, the rocks look very black. Mm -hmm. So that would be ferromanganese then, right? Yeah, I think so. That, yeah. that oblong thing, it looks like yeah, it only wow. weighs about six tons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get this perfect. In this one, way. yep. It's pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, if it's crust, well, oh. yeah. Oh, there's your rock. And it wasn't very, it wasn't very thick. I think that one's at the Ooh. bottom of the hill now. You want a picture of the sure. face? Zoom in on it. Oh, interesting. So tell us what we're seeing. Iron. Yeah, definitely some kind of iron manganese deposit. That really bright red iron staining is kind of unique. Well, that's going to be annoying. Go away. I know. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that sponge. Oh, my. I wow. bet Paul would want a piece. Wow. You got some captures? Yeah, I'm getting some good pictures. On just a giant basalt spire. They like being high up. Reminds me of cats. <laughs> cats? They like vantage points. Ospreys, also. Yeah. Did Paul, are you there? Can you speak up on whether you want this or not? What's the texture like? Spongy. <laughs> <laughs> is it a glass sponge? Or? And I was saying basalt, but there seems to be some kind of layered textures in that rock. Could be sedimentary. That's a really strange rock formation. There. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. We're told it's a basalt spire. Well, now that I look, though, that you see there's these um, layering, bedded layering. That's probably more indicative of sedimentary rock. So it's looks like a horn. Yeah. It's just uplifted into that position. Yeah, either fell that way or got squished that way. Ooh, uh, look wow. at that. So cool. 
see all the channels. It looks like the holes are plugged with sediment, doesn't it? You know what? Some shrimp on there too. Other shrimps. Oh, there's polyky. I think right there. Another shrimp. I think that's a hydroid, the feathery thing coming out. Hydroid? Hydroid. Lobster. Another quick test is if you can crush it at all. Maybe it's thinner than it looked. It was sitting yeah, on. It looks like it's. It was sitting on slabby. kind of a pile. Did you get some grabs. Thank you, data logger. I'm getting all the grabs. Thank you. It's a beautiful terabellin on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Put it in the Hang box. on there, worm. Mm -hmm. We want you. Yeah, that looks has good potential for phosphorus. Yeah. 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 So we're putting Great it away. Rock. Yes, Rizal. please. Right. Bromid. Yes, please. Crispin's pointing out we got serpulets on there. Oop, somebody else. Oh, maybe that's its tooth. Or the Ew. terabellid. That's the butt end of the terabellid. Hygidium. It's a little bit conglomerate looking, which is interesting. There's a brittle, brittle star. star. <laughs> Sponge, bryozoans. We're good. Uh, we should put it, it away. <laughs> what do you think? Well, we'll take it. it. <laughs> Even okay. if it's not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Zoom out. And we don't know, right? Yeah. It's hard to tell. There were some, some angular features that were a little off, but the coloring looks good. Kira, Crispin's asking if you think the phosphorites will be datable using microfossils. Yeah, there, it depends on the phosphorite. You can have replacement on different scales, um, but they definitely have seen some frustules that are preserved. Um, typically with phosphorites, you can use strontium isotope dating. Can we zoom in on this? Or sponge. Pretty. This is Faria and one other thing. Notice how the brittle star is just like the dead part of the sponge, not the live part. Beautiful. Okay. I don't think we can take that rock, though. No. Move it on. Do you see those nice, big, bubbly textures? More. Yeah. But I was hoping, I mean, those are really large botroids, but nice pair of manganese crust textures, Ooh. especially yeah. on the hard strap. Nothing Big shrimp. Yeah, that That's pretty. <laughs> Can we zoom in on that beautiful anemone? Whatever hey, zoom in. Is Steve here? Does he know what that is? I don't know, Steve. Do you recognize this? Paralomus underneath. Pretty anemone, though. Got a good spot. That's beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Good. Yep, yep, yep. Good pressure. Right 